I will say have Esse Brume in the house. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> 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 okay, so Essie, mm. it's so nice having you on Saturday night. Thank you. I am so pleased to be hosting you. We are pleased to be hosting Thank you. Thank you. I'm really pleased to yeah. be here. So, too. yes, um, we earlier introduced you as an international mm -hmm. stage artist. Yes, yes. Can you tell the viewers how you started? Because, yes, most people do not know you. No. They don't know you. No. So there's an opportunity for them to know so, who okay. Essay Brume is. Okay. Yes, internationally you're known, but here in Nigeria, your home, people yes. barely know, know you. Yeah, it's true. People so don't. who is Essay Brume? Let's hear it from you. <laughs> okay. Essay <laughs> Brume, I was born in Lagos. Okay. I live I went to school here till maybe when I was eleven. Okay. And I went I was sent abroad hmm. by my parents. You okay. Know, and and so I ended up in university in London where I studied at UCL, University College London, I studied, I majored in French. And from there, I moved to Paris because I was really attracted to the arts and Paris represented the arts, you know, bright lights. And so I went to start working with a Cameroonian film director because mm. I wanted to go into film production. Okay. It lasted, it was really exciting, really, really interesting. His name was Jean-Pierre Bécolo. Uh, he's quite an avant-garde um, cin uh, cinematographer. It lasted for six months and he decided to leave for America because he couldn't stand, well, let's say things weren't very easy, the French way mm -hmm. and his more, even though he's Cameroonian, there's something more, I don't know, I'd say like even Nigerian, more Anglo-Saxon in his attitude. Okay. So he left for um, America and I was there like, what do I do now? And um, someone asked me to come and perform on stage. And I was like, I've never acted, you know, I didn't go to acting school. But there was like, no, no problem, we'll be in English, it's a short play, I'll be there. And so I started like that, and I was really blessed in like the um, national theatre, mm. the Théâtre National de l'Odéon, it's called. So it's a very prestigious um, place mm. where I started working with a dancer and another actor. And so it was very contemporary. I was pretending I was a princess. They were fighting for me. I had my crown. They both died at the end, but I was there with my two crowns, a queen for no kings. But basically, that's how my career as an actress began in Paris. And I was there. It's just taken off since then. You know, hmm. I've, um, yeah. Wow. So what are the major plays you're featured in? In, um, well, they're all, the first one was in a garden, that one was in English, and then Non d'un chien, because some of them are in French, and that's what you have to, <laughs> you know, I've, I perform in French too. Well. Non d'un chien, and which one? Snow White. Mm. I actually acted a black woman. I performed Snow White, mm. as you know, usually it's like you imagine Snow White. She's oh, white, you know, yeah. black hair, this, that, that. But I performed Snow White in, wow. uh, in Paris. And then which other ones? Lots, you know. And then later on with a Haitian, Terre, Cri, Tremblement, with um, another one, Animal, you know, s very different ones, Encyclopédie de la Parole. You I know. was speaking French, now we're speaking English. We're speaking French. I mix French and English. I'm bilingual. Okay. You know, so the type of theatre I do is kind of um, very, it's not like com comedy. It's a mixture of research, of um, thinking, of dance. Of, so it's uh, very philosophical. This one was philosophical. Sometimes they can be tragic. They make you, yeah, you have Satiric. to. Satiric? Yes, also. The last one I did with Kudus, that's what brought me to Nigeria, Kudus Onikeku. OK. That we were like seven on stage, okay. six dancers, and me, hmm. storytelling. And it was kind of very, it was very strong emotionally because we talked about death, loss, war, pain. It was very dark, deep subjects, but with dance, movement, hmm. it just become, it becomes very poetic, very strong. It makes you, it's true, you're right when you say philosophical, it makes you, you have to think. You can't just leave, clap and say, well done, go finish. No, you. You think, you think. So it's they're very engaging. Yeah, exactly. Very engaging mm. pieces. That's what wow. I do. Yes. Wow. Yes. And a bit abstract. Yeah, exactly. It's abstract. abstract. Too. Yeah, like with um, this so one. So you have to put on your thinking cap when one comes to watch you on stage. No, 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 no. You don't. You can just. It's also the senses. You don't really. Oh, it's not just intellectual, just the brain. So it's, you should appeal to everything. All your you know, yeah. 
also the image, what you hear, you know, it's um, it's not just it's no. wholesome. Yeah, it's wholesome. Exactly, it's wholesome. It's because if it's just intellectual, it's boring. Uh, we'd fall asleep. It's uh, no, it's mm. uh, yeah. So, so how, do, how 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 do you fit into the French um, theatre, knowing mm. that you're all black and you know yes. French is French? Yeah. Um, it's you know life just kind of like um creates opportunities okay um i didn't expect to become an actress it just happened like that i enjoyed it i wanted to like i thought okay let me go to acting school maybe drama school to learn to be a proper actress the director i worked with said no please don't because it's going to mold you into a certain way these french people like and you're fresh, you're, you've got your own character, your own individuality, so please don't go. So I listened to him and I didn't go, but I would do different workshops with different people from different places, a Malian guy, a German guy, and um, but it, so just with life making me meet different people, I managed to somehow find roles where it wasn't me as a black woman that was the foremost, you know, they weren't looking for a black, necessarily a black woman. They were maybe looking for someone who would, who can do, who can dance, who can sing, who, who can talk, who can be dramatic, who can. So it was just me as my person, I guess. How know. receptive are, are the French people to blacks on stage? Um, how receptive are they to blacks on stage? They tend to categorize, I'd say. It's either they just want to see a play where they're just only black people, just Africans, or you know. Or when they see, because like this one we talked about, Encyclopédie de la Parole, okay. there were 21 of us, I was the only black person. Hmm. So when, so I can like stand out, but the fact that um, I speak English, my English is very... Fluid. Uh, yes, it's very fluid. And they were like, oh, they're so amazed. They're like, ah, are you American? I'm like, no, I'm from, I'm from Nigeria, you know. So um, I definitely stand out and um, they accept because I'd say of my English. And you're not typecasted? I go towards the roles I feel. They may want to typecast me, but I won't work with them. So I guess I am quite a... Uh, Rebellious? Yes, I am. Um, well, I go, to, I, I do what I like. You know, I do what my soul feels, what my heart feels is right. Wow. So uh, now you, 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 are you back in Nigeria? I'm back more and more. I'm not permanently based. I remain international, so I remain open. We were in Berlin just like a month ago before we came to perform here. Okay. So and then I'll be going back to Paris. Mm -hmm. So I continue navigating. Yeah, I navigate. Oh, interesting. So yeah. have you featured in any of the plays here in Nigeria? Apart from the one that Kudus brought here, no, I haven't met. As I say, it's a question of who you meet. I haven't really met the um, the, the stage practitioners here no, in Nigeria. No, no. So I'm looking forward to meeting them. So what, what are your impressions of the Nigerian art um, scene? I'm really proud of Nigeria doing their own stuff, you know, not waiting for, I don't know, America or who to um, say, okay, this is good, you should do it this way. You know. set the pace for No, them. yes, we are as we are. And so I think, you know, the music, the uh, cinema, Theatre, I haven't seen that much, but I'm like, we should continue, go for it, go for it, go for it. And if you can have more depth, let's have, start having depth too. I wish I'd meet someone who does theatre with depth, because I really like that. What did you almost forget? We almost forgot what life was all about. Hmm. That's what it's, you know, humanity, how, just to love each other, basically. Okay. So it's by Kudu Sonikeku. Okay. He's a, a young Nigerian choreographer. Mm -hmm. And then a year and a half ago, he started talking to me about, we almost forgot, he wanted to do a play on, again, as he's a dancer, yeah, so it was going to be dance, but he wanted me as an actress to like tell the story, to be the narrator. And it was it's like a very heavy piece on, on death, on violence, on humanity who keeps on hurting and hurting each other, on war, genocide, and all that. And so um, I was like, yeah, because I know I really enjoy how he works. Mm. And uh, so we started like that with um, six other dancers from Morocco, Madagascar, Gabon, Mali. Mm. 
and uh, Nigeria, so a very international troop, Cast. you know. Yeah, and it was very strong. I think we've done a lot of um, <laughs> talking on arts. Yes. Uh, you know, well, the I'm towers. Let's, 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 let's now get into <laughs> essay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Essay. Yes. I look at you. And I see a very young 18-year-old girl looking back at me. 18-year-old, <laughs> please. <laughs> no, but it's true. No, I'm not 18 years old. No. <laughs> Tecla. <laughs> 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 I'm a mother. Okay. Mm. I'm a mother. Yeah. Mother of one, two, how three, many? Three <laughs> kids. Four. Four kids. Five. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I stop at four. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! From this body, <laughs> yes, yes. From this body, yes. how did you do it? No, we can Was he a surrogacy deal or you? No, no, I carried them for nine two. months. Uh, uh, yes, breastfed. You know, baby on my back. You know, the mothers were highlighted. One, two, three, three four. four, four, four children. How old is your first? You want to know? I want to know. I'm, I'm actually curious. <laughs> she will be 20 in December. Holy so. Moses. Oh, yes. my God. But it's genetical. You know, my mother, too, looks very... All my life, people were like, is, she your, is this your sister? You know, yeah, so I guess. Wow. Yeah. But I work out, you know, as an actress. Mm. I have a... No, you know, it comes naturally, but I do... I work out. I watch what I eat. I was vegetarian for a while, but now I eat chicken. But um, I don't eat red meat. I eat fish. Um, I eat a lot of vegetables. I don't eat sugar. Nothing. Yeah, even honey. I stopped honey. So you're very disciplined about your diet. Yeah, but it's it's, it's natural. I don't. I guess it's a discipline, but it's not. Maybe so at the, much of it. Yeah, it's, it comes naturally. Also, my taste buds. I guess. And maybe your metabolism. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's it. <laughs> I don't know what. Because uh -huh. I am still trying to process the fact that, okay, she, she, she looks 18, and she's a mother to a 20-year-old child. Yeah, yeah. And then the last is how old? Eight years old. Eight years. So you yeah. stopped visiting the labor ward <laughs> some eight years ago. Yeah. And you're still looking this fabulous? Yes. Give me five for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If so, if only acting, what would you have um, turned out to become? Um, my father thought I'd be a nurse. I, I I didn't think I would be a nurse, but um, I know I'm. I care for people. I'm a very caring person. I, um, yeah, I'm a caring person. So, uh, and like without family, let me, let me take the opportunity to talk about my family's foundation. Mm -hmm. We have a foundation called Ovie, Ovie Brume Foundation because my brother passed away all of a sudden like um, in 2002 mm -hmm. and he was young, he was kind of dynamic, he was trying to give back to the country because he'd done his studies abroad, he was quite brilliant in Harvard, you know, MBA, he, he came back to work in Nigeria, set up his business and then he'd see, because that's the thing we have to admit, in Nigeria there's, um, there's the people who have a lot and then a lot of people who don't have much at all. So um, he would spend his time with the like, local children, playing basketball, give, taking them out, you know, trying to be a mentor. Mm. And when he passed away, all of a sudden, it was like such a shock to my family. And my mom, who was like devastated, she was like, let's do this foundation. Let's have a youth center where we gather together, you know, the children from the neighborhood who aren't as privileged as my children are. Let's try and um, foster, I mean, confidence, teach them things, you know, make them play basketball, computing, teach them how to be eloquent, you know, so they can have a possibility for the future. And so the foundation has been going on for yeah, since tw 2003. And um, whenever I come to Nigeria, I try and I give theater classes, reading classes, just spend time with them. So um, that's co that type of community work is really important for me. It really is. And then also that I adopted um, a young girl I met when I came to perform with Kudus at the Ake Book and Arts Festival. I met this young girl, who, Kate Ekanem, who um, also has a foundation. She's a girl child, so she's like a, an activist. She tries to um, help 
young women who who find themselves in kind of like bad situations who either have children when they're quite young when they're children themselves and she gives them like um, English lessons and so I'm, I support her foundation I support her I try to help her as much as possible she w even was sent to um, she represented not just Nigeria but the African Union at this um, girl 20 meeting in Turkey you know you know there's a G20 yes, meeting yes. where the leaders would meet this yeah. one was girl 20 mm -hmm. so she represented all of the African Union and so I really helped her I, ke I mentor her because she does when a you see a young Nigerian woman doing things like that you you need to help you know so when you have the opportunity you help so I think I'm also that trying to give to the community okay. care can yeah. you can you nicely adopt me as well oh my God. <laughs> 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 Big woman like you, you want me to adopt you? <laughs> uh, isn't, isn't there a space for uh, There is. Uh, so, you know, uh, please, uh, come. <laughs> I've adopted you. You two adopt me. Adopt me. Huh? <laughs> yeah, oh, my so. God. You're such a pleasant lady to no, be around. Thank yes, you. Yes, you know, you look very simple, but there's this sense of eccentricity that I get around you. Yes. Is it true? Have, has anybody told you that? Yeah, yes, I'm not. Yeah. Um, You're centric, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, what not are those classical. things that make you, in your own opinion, what are those things that people see in you that, you know, gives them that impression? Because I think I, I wear what I like. You mm -hmm. know, I don't follow... Traditions. Yeah, well, this is Ankran Wells. Trends. Yeah, I don't follow trend. It's true, I'm more eccentric, more of a rebellious type of person. I like natural things, things that are as, as natural as possible. So tell me something that will shock me. That will shock you? Yeah, I, I want to be shocked. Whoa, something that will shock you. Yeah. Um. Ah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> this will really shock you. Okay. Okay. Um, I was in, I went to see my father who was in Germany. Okay. This was um, not so long ago, I'd say maybe 20 years ago. Not so, so long ago, 20 years ago? Well, time is relative. Okay. okay. <laughs> so I was with my, um, my husband. We'd driven by car from France to Germany and we'd stopped at this petrol station to get petrol. Mm -hmm. And my husband was filling the tank. And so he's a French, he's a white man. Hmm. And um, this other white German man came up to me. He came not to, to me, to, to my husband, saying, I speak German, uh, I understand German. So he said to my husband, um, Wo haben Sie es gekauft? Wo haben Sie es gekauft? And my husband was like, uh huh? He was saying, Where did you buy her from? Where did you buy her from? <laughs> you wanted to be shocked. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to be shocked at you. And my husband was like, oh, I mean, what do you mean? He's just like, ah, that one, you know, <laughs> pointing to me. Oh, my As word. He, he's like, which magazine, which catalog, or which... And my husband, he, my husband he, he, just, he just pretended he, he hadn't heard. And, and we drove off. But you see, this was 1995, and a, a real experience that I experienced. So I'm um, there. Have you been shocked enough, yes, haven't you? Yes, <laughs> yes. And so you just kept quiet. Oh, oh yeah, I did. Yeah, I didn't want so I should come out and start. No, I kept quiet. I kept quiet. What did you think informed that question? Like racism in the air or oh, he's just amazed, just blown away by he a white man and a, a, a black woman he coming together? Because he asked, where did you buy her from? Where can I find her? He too, he wanted to buy the same thing. He wanted oh, no. <laughs> you know, Look, we're even talking about a human being. Wow. See, it's it just, it's the extent, you see to what extent, it's even beyond racism. It's, I don't know, we become objects, you wow. know. Where can I buy the same type of African, you know? Can you beat that? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But yeah. then and now, what has changed? You know, they're not all like that. There's so many beautiful, you know, humanity, they're beautiful people everywhere in the world. They're, but there's some who are bitter, some who are circumstances just bring out this rage, you know, this, um, yeah. Okay, so what's your Nigerian experience? Let's, 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 let's wrap up on that note. What's yes. your Nigerian? You've, you've, you've expressed your, your exposure out there, your experience out there. Let's yes. have your Nigerian experience. Has it been? Yeah. Come back to Nigeria, the people, the culture. Mm. 
there's nothing beats coming back home. You know, there's nothing like, I don't know if it's the air, just how we talk, how we are, how we, you know, there's, ah, you're like, why did I ever leave? I want to stay here all the time. Oh. We're strong, we go for it, you know, we are, we're go-getters. We, we believe in life and we believe in God, you know, we believe, we are not, we're here for some reason. That's something that really appeals to me about coming back home. We, we're connected to each other, we're connected to something higher than us. And um, yeah, we're happy, we're, but then we can be, you know, there are always two sides to a coin. But you know, I, you know, there's nothing beats home, really, mm. nothing, I love it. I love so it. do you speak any of our languages? Oh, apart from saying Miguo, Rendo, just a bit of Urubu. Some Yoruba I hear, some Yoruba, but um, no, no, that's another, you know, uh, Agbaya, time. yes, Agbaya me. I wanted to even start going <coughs> back to university to learn Yoruba. And the food? Yeah. Pepe soup, <laughs> ah, banga. <laughs> you know, no, I love, I love Nigerian food. Uh, I love the food I eat. Well, that's so. good. So yeah. that is saying that you will be coming more often to yeah. Nigeria and spending yeah. more time yeah, with us. Definitely. And please, when you definitely. do, let us know so yes. that we can, you can come share more experience. Okay, with I will. Right? Uh, yes. It's such a pleasure uh, having you on thank Saturday you. night. I've thank thoroughly you. enjoyed myself and I believe the viewers have had a good time as well. And so on that note, we want to say thank you so much for staying tuned to this week's edition of Saturday Night. As always, be kind to one another and stay well.